Hey, Escape the Rumors, Brandon here. We're in Washington, D.C., and we are visiting Escape Artist D.C., and I'm with Milen. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We just tried the room night at the museum, and they currently have a bunch of rooms here. How many rooms do you have told? We have three games, uh, night at the museum, house of pawns, and gallery heist. Okay. And House of Pawns is a continuing series and we have four episodes. So technically we have six games. Oh wow. Okay. And which is the oldest room that you yeah. built? Uh the first one of the gallery cast. Okay. Yeah, I did night at the museum. Okay, got it. <laughs> um so in terms of your location here, when did you open? We opened uh five years ago. Oh wow, a long time ago. Yes. Okay. And um so right now, your newest room is uh, House of Pawns episode four. Four. Okay. How long is it? It's gonna go for it. So that's the finale of this one. Okay, great. And so we might change into something else. Okay. Um, and in terms of like the creativity behind the rooms when you design them, where does that come from? Like for example, Night at the Museum, what made you come up with the concept and the ideas? So I'm an artist, visual artist, and, and I, I live in DC and DC is a very art-centric uh, mm -hmm. uh, city. And I wanted as a tribute to the art scene and the museums, I wanted to do something that reflects that cultural heritage of DC. Okay. And so I wanted to be, it's not a very strong on on uh, in terms of storyline, but it's very strong in terms of puzzle. puzzles. Yeah. Um, as you can see, uh, all the puzzles uh, are multi-dimensional puzzles. So one thing feeds into the other kind right. of puzzles, and that's what the focus was in that game. Yeah, we definitely got that when we were in there. It was definitely puzzle driven. Um, in terms of the rooms that you offer here, are they public or private? Like for when you book them? Uh, to uh, to, but to have a, for, for, for a private game, you need at least six spots. Okay. And so, yeah. So it is optional, you just have to have okay, yeah, people. Yeah. Okay, and what is the capacity, like for a night at the museum, what is the... About eight to ten. Eight to ten, okay. And the minimum, do you recommend there's two no, uh, or four? Uh, there's no minimum. There's no minimum. Yeah. All right. Um, in this area, because we haven't really had a chance to explore around here, what is to do? To do? I mean, I know obviously you see right. you know, the monuments and everything. So now you can go to the Navy Yard. There is a nice boardwalk, a lot of restaurants, a winery. And also on the same block, we have uh, phenomenal restaurants, like the best uh, top restaurants in the DC Yard. Ah. On the same block called there's this Luxury or uh, a Little Paul. And, uh, and then there is uh, uh, Chico, which is a great... Chinese, Korean, and then we also have some Indian restaurants here. Oh, so we got a lot of different uh, varieties. <laughs> yes. All right. What can we expect in the near future? Like I know you mentioned, like you have two. So there is a game that I'm currently working on, which is a very interesting concept. It's based on uh, recursion, and I'm also a software engineer. And recursion is a concept which basically it's an infinite loop kind of a concept. Okay. And there is an exit condition, so it's based on that concept, but I've abstracted it. Abstracted it. Okay. So it uses some allegorical theme from uh, uh, certain elements in, uh, in, in, in mythology and okay. uses recursion. Oh, wow. um, so that's the game I'm interest, uh, currently working on. And is that going to be an added room or are you no, going to swap out? No, it's going to be swap out okay. to the House of Pawns. Right. Uh, and I think I'm very fascinated by the recursion concept. Uh, and you guys can welcome to look it up online. Yeah, we'll, we'll check that out. Yeah. Um, and what about outside of your location? Like, Do you do events? Do you do mobile games? Yes, like so we've done. Uh, we've done a lot of uh, outside events and the biggest one we did was 550 people in wow. two hours. Oh my goodness. So for a, a, a very well-known uh, real estate research firm and for the conference they had served 29 uh, rooms in a hotel and we replicated the same game 29 times. Wow. And then uh, we had 250 people first and then 300 people later second round and two hours we finished 45 minute game. Oh my goodness, talk uh, about then we done, <laughs> Yeah, we did for World Bank a couple of events with 100 people each uh, in a conference room setting. Okay. Uh, and then we customized this completely for that. So the poster was based on uh, a, a, a hacker who's trying to hack into their servers and sabotage their... Uh, and then for the <laughs> World Bank we did something based on foreign currency and economist because there were all these economies coming from all over the world and wow. they wanted to be... And then the design's concepts was all from you? Yes. How long does it take you to do something like that, especially for that? So those take about two months. Uh, 
game. Yeah. Uh, they are not as 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 immersive as much, but they are more puzzle oriented. Right. And because of the nature of the uh, venue, yeah. uh, you are setting it up at a conference, right? So so there is already a setup for conference. So you usually theme it around conferences, or we theme it around like uh, for uh, hotel rooms and things like that. Oh, okay. So they take about two months uh, start to finish, and then we do a lot of testing and uh, test test runs along in collaboration with the company. Wow. Well. Look, we had a great time here at Escape Artist DC. You guys gotta check out their website. Uh, check out our YouTube channel and our review website on Night at the Museum. And uh, thank you so much thank for having us. Thank you. Yeah.